Today we're going to look at uh, restringing a ukulele. Um, I suspect many of you have never done it because you think, ooh, I don't know how to do that. So, um, not rocket science and let's learn. Okay, so you have to um, keep your wits about you when you're changing the strings. Uh, in particular, you need to know which new string to put on which position. As you know, the strings are tuned G, C, E, A, and normally your G string, the one there is C chin, is referred to as string four, string three, string two, and the bottom one, the one there is G knee, it's string one. Okay, so when you get a new set of strings, they will be identified somehow to tell you which string is which. Um, a quila nile gutter kind of an industry standard, and um, on the back, you'll see there's a little color code where it says um, the A string, one, uh, string number one is red. So you'll find when you open the pack up, packet that that string has got a little red label on it. So and so forth. So, so that's the first important thing to uh, keep track of which string you're going to put in which position. Um, have uh, the other good thing to do is have a good look at how your ukulele is strung before you start. So the most tricky bit is at the bottom here is getting the string anchored around here, around the end of the bridge, uh, the block, and um, getting that in position. And you'll see that this one, when they get the one from the factory, they're all very tidy. And the tail of this string is nicely tucked between the tail of that string which is tucked between the tail of that string so it keeps them all nicely tucked in and it stops from these little jaggy ends can kind of get get you in the arm when you're playing so that keeps that out of the way I must confess that when I change strings I get lazy and I, <laughs> I, I often don't bother tucking those in it hasn't been a problem but anyway so we'll look in detail at how to do that the other thing to look at is on the tuning head, really, really important, all of the strings go on the inside of the tuning pegs. You'll see they're all on the inside. If you get that the wrong way around, you go to tune the string up and you find you're tuning it down. So it's good to get a hold of that. And you want to end up with the string long enough so that you get about four, five, six winds around the, tune, the, the peg. Anyway, so here we go. So um, having noted all that, I, uh, the one thing to do is do the strings one at a time. So you have models there to model from. So let's get this G string off. A handy little tool when you're doing a job like this is a uh, winder. Saves you, <laughs> saves you a lot of... Uh, winding time and effort so I've got that okay there we go so that's off there and I'm just going to poke this through here and pull it through there we go so we have de-strung one string by a new string okay so first step is to anchor it down the bottom here and Obviously, there's a hole through the block here. I'll see if we can find it. Okay, so I've got it through the hole in the block. I'm going to bring it back up. You get plenty of string, so don't worry about having a long tail there. There's plenty of string. You'll be cutting some off at the end. I'm going to bring that up. And I've got a little look there. I'm going to bring that through the middle. So it's as if I'm tying a wee knot, and I'm going to go down through the loop once more. Bring that up through, and there. You can see that's looking like the other one's there. Pull it tight. There we are. Good as gold. So I just made a loop, and I put the end, this end of the string up through the middle a couple of times. Pulled it tight. There we go. And at the end, I'll just cut the excess off. Okay, so let's look at the top. 
Now, as you'll see, you've got far too much string. Okay, so we take the string and remember we're going to come from the inside. We always want to loop from the inside. So I'm going to take the string, poke it through the hole if I can see where, where it is. That's great. And I'm going to pull quite a lot through, otherwise I'll be far too much to wind. I'm going to um, take that string round and poke it through that peg again, and that will kind of, that will hold it in place. Right, right, okay. Okay, so, so we got a little bit of a loop there. Um, that's still too much string, so I'm going to pull, push it through. Pull it through, pull it through, pull it through. And uh, we're getting there. So I've got probably about that much string left. Okay, so I'll start winding on and I'll see how we go. So what I'm going to do is I, I want the loops to go below that hole that's going through, not up to the top of the peg so it holds the string down. So I'm just going to um, hold the string down there so it goes through the slot and also just hold it down there and I'll start winding. And I'm looking to see that the loops that I'm creating go between the hole and the, the body of the tuning head. Just wind, wind, wind. This is where my winder comes in very handy. But it's not necessary. And... So that's about right in pitch. And you'll you'll hear that it's you'll hear it actually going down, you know, um, with the pitch uh, quite markedly. It's dropped already a tone. Um, new strings will stretch like that. Now so I've got about four coils on there. I'm just gonna snip that off. And um, and for the next few days it's just an exercise in just keeping tuning up your new strings because they will go flat as they stretch. Within a few days, if you keep tuning them up, they should settle. Uh, just chop off the excess at the other end. Voila! We have a new string slightly out of tune in this ukulele. <laughs> 